Hi again, Roy Nassari sharing another case with you. In this particular situation, upper tooth number three had uh, deep caries, but the bite wings show that there's still chance that we could avoid a pulp exposure. No symptoms, just food impaction, just uh, restoration uh, may have broken off, he doesn't remember. Pulp testing was normal, so we did the caries removal under the microscope. You could see here, caries was initially removed, and I used caries indicator. Um, some don't use it, but I like to use it under the microscopes, especially if we're trying to look for pinpoint exposures or try to avoid them. So here, rinse was done, and you could see the blue dye was picked up uh, by the softer dentin, and slow speed to clean it out, rinsed again. There's still some present, so we repeated the steps of caries indicator, rinse, and slow speed caries removal. And I had a good margin of enamel around the prep and no pulp exposure. So despite uh, repeated steps, uh, everything looked pretty good. Used the high speed diamond to refine the bevel uh, circumferentially to get a good margin. Everything was super gingival, so no need for crown lengthening or anything different. Uh, isolated the tooth with contact matrix, flowable at the box, nice packable composite, check the occlusion and a post-op bite wing showed we didn't get close to the nerve. Thank you and leave me your comments.